There should be three distinct layers in the shop. <laughs> As I've mentioned on several occasions, the light independent reaction is the next stage of photosynthesis. The light independent reaction, also known as the Calvin cycle, occurs in the stroma. As I've mentioned in the, in the first video of the photosynthesis series, the stroma surrounds the granum, so the products of the light dependent reaction can easily be diffused out to be quickly used in the light independent reaction. The light independent reaction occurs in several stages. The first of which is where carbon dioxide from the atmosphere diffuses in the leaf through stomata, and it dissolves in the water around the walls of the mesophyll cells and diffuses through the plasma membrane into the chloroplast membranes and then into the stroma. This carbon dioxide fixation occurs because of an enzyme reaction. The enzyme is called Rubisco, as I mentioned previously, which is produced by the circular DNA and ribosomes in the chloroplast. In nitrogen fixation, the carbon dioxide reacts with a 5-carbon molecule called RUBP, ribulose biphosphate. You can tell it's biphosphate because there's two phosphate molecules. So this attaches to this to form a 6-carbon intermediate. The 6-carbon intermediate quickly breaks down into a 3-carbon compound called glycerate 3-phosphate, and it forms two of them. The glycerate 3-phosphate molecule then goes on to react with ATP to produce ADP and an inorganic phosphate molecule. The NADPH also reacts with this glycerate 3-phosphate molecule to produce NADP, and that's it. Um, it's also worth noting that this happens twice. Now the, the product of this reaction, this stage, is this molecule, G3P, which is glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, or triosphosphate. This, ha this again is produced twice. There are two fates for the G3P molecules produced in the Calvin cycle. The first of which it combines with other three G3P molecules to produce glucose. The second of which is when five G3P molecules react with each other and ATP, and three ATP molecules, I should say, to produce three RUBP molecules. along with an inorganic phosphate and three ADP molecules. This is the summary of the light independent reaction in photosynthesis. Here is the CO2 that goes into the system and the rubisco that carboxylates the rubidus biphosphate. The main difference between this diagram and my previous diagrams is that this has all the stoichiometry for the actual equation of the photosynthesis. So we see that the carbon dioxide is absorbed is it attached to the RUBP by the rubisco, forming the six carbon intermediate, which breaks down well three six carbon intermediate, which breaks into six PGA molecules. PGA is uh, an abbreviation for glycerate three phosphate. This is then reduced by ATP and NADPH. These are both ATP and NADPH are both oxidized in this process. That's important to know. This forms 6,3GP molecules, which is triose phosphate. One out of these six goes on to produce organic materials like like glucose, and five of them. Um, react with three ATP molecules to produce three ADP molecules, three organic phosphate molecules, inorganic phosphate, sorry, and three RUBP molecules.